hi everyone so in this video you are going to learn about transistor clippers previously i have explained about non linear clippers which are made up of diodes series type clippers shunt type clippers and also we have seen noise clippers which are made up of diodes itself now transistor clippers so a non linear device used to clip the portion of the input signal like a sinusoidal signal okay non linear device may be a diode or transistor so far we have seen diode configurations now the third set of configuration which is nothing but a transistor configuration which is used to clip the signal on both sides of positive and as well as negative of the input signal because transistor is nothing but it's a combination of two diodes okay pn junction diode and and np junction diode so that it will be a pnp transistor or npn transistor which is nothing but a two diode configuration used to clip the input signal in both the peaks a positive peak or negative peak see this is the configuration which is used for the clipping circuit so here it is the place we are applying the input signal at the base of the transistor we know the configuration of the transistor most commonly used configuration is common emitter configuration common emitter configuration emitter terminal is connected in common between input and output voltages so input voltage is applied between base and emitter and output voltage is taken across the collector and emitter here the rb resistor acting as the input resistor or a current limiting resistor which is connected the input of the base of this transistor and the collector is acting as the output terminal here rc is the resistor which is used to drop the current or voltage coming from the vcc vcc is the biasing supply okay and vbe here it is the voltage shown as the cut in voltage of this junction between bias and emitter because base emitter forms a diode base emitter forms a diode so this pn junction diode is having the cut in voltage vbe okay and again one more is in between this collector and emitter now if it is the case whenever the input signal is applied the base current ib is expressed as v input minus this cut in voltage v gamma or vbe by rb okay it is simply acting as the diode base to emitter this diode is having a cut in voltage v gamma which is from base to emitter emitter is connected to the ground so we can write it as ib is the current flowing through this rb this ib is written as the difference on either voltage v input minus v gamma by rb okay here v gamma is nothing but 0.1 or 2 volts per germanium and the same v gamma is equal to 0.6 or 0.7 volts or sometimes it may be referred to 0.3 also this is for silicon okay so this is the current and this is the required voltage to make the transistor on if you see the characteristics of the transistor like vi characteristics of the transistor then see here you might have studied this in the electronic devices and circuits edc on the x axis you are taking vce collector to emitter voltage voltage across collector and emitter and ic it is the current flowing through the collector to the emitter okay from collector to emitter here this is ic and it is the voltage across voltage across collector to emitter this it is vce or ic so if you take this vi characteristics vc vce and ic then these are the different types of curves that are existed at different input currents ib okay now this q point is known as q point is nothing but vce comma ic at a particular current at a particular current or at a particular input voltage vbe input voltage vbe okay so this q point can either in the upward direction or in the downward direction see this is the maximum peak that you are having because of the ib current and this is the minimum peak that because of ib current see we will see the waveform clearly it is clearly written on this one ib maximum and ib minimum suppose if i want to shift the 
fusion point either in the positive direction or in the negative that means either in the upward direction or in the downward direction then what happens if you move this fusion point in the upward direction if you cross beyond this particular line maximum it goes up like this then what happens up to this the signal will be clipped off okay then the signal will be like this if you move this fusion point downwards then the peak of the negative signal will be clipped off like this if you increase the strength of the input signal beyond this the signal might be amplified of course but after some limit the signal will be clipped on both the axis like this so that's why the signal after amplification beyond its limit then the signal will peaks will be clipped off because of this particular reason okay so depending on the position of the q point if you don't choose the q point properly then clipping action will be appeared in the transistor circuits okay suppose if you want to use the transistor as a clipper you need to choose the fusion point in such a way that the fusion the peaks of the amplitude will be clipped okay suppose if the signal uh, ramp signal is applied for this uh, circuit whatever i have discussed here if a ramp signal is applied then see here this is the input waveform this is the input waveform and this ramp signal slowly appears at the input voltage of the input of this base of the transistor then beyond it is not immediately going like a, a normal resistor but it slowly appears across the junction vbe okay see from here onwards the cut in voltage as i said cut in voltage is 1 0.1 or 0.2 so slowly the transistor takes the input voltage and it goes to the vbe and in the negative direction this is the cut in voltage beyond which the transistor simply acts as off transistor nothing but open circuited so that's why there is no current when the transistor is said to be in open circuited there is no current up to this whenever the transistor is having a cut in voltage uh, then the transistor is said to be coming into on state so the current starts flowing slowly slowly like this okay ib increases and thereby ic also increases but after some time after the saturation voltage as i said germanium is having 0.1 or 0.2 beyond some voltage like 0.3 transistor simply junction enters into saturation and the current enters into saturation then ic sat will be appeared and the current ib slowly increases <coughs> okay. with these assumptions if you see the input waveform like a sinusoidal signal then this is the vbe voltage vbe voltage as shown here only for positive peak because for negative peak diode is in off state then there is no voltage okay so for positive peak this is the vbe voltage and if you see the current at whenever we are having the maximum input peak there you are having the maximum current flow and either sides it is having minimum voltage like ic by hfe it is ic by hfe this ic is nothing but ic sat we can say it is ic saturation current ics and here the same saturation current is drawn like this whenever the input voltage is maximum then there is a clipper see clipping action is appeared here this positive peak is clipped off okay the input voltage we are still increasing then what happens i told you already see when it is going like this this particular part is going to be clipped off then it will be appear like this and the same can be observed in the output voltage output voltage why it is in the reverse direction see uh, input voltage is in the positive direction and output voltage is in the reverse direction because it amplifier the transistor when it is acting as an amplifier it produces 180 degrees phase shift in between the input and output it produces 180 degrees phase shift between the input and output can you tell me why see here let us consider in a digital form let us consider in a digital form take zero at the input take zero at the input what about the transistor transistor is in off state because it does not have a sufficient voltage at the input when the transistor is in off state when transistor is in off state then what happens open circuited open circuited means output voltage is equal to maximum output voltage is maximum 
let it be 1 and input voltage is equal to logic level I am saying 1 or we can say 5 volts. Then transistor is set to be in on state. When it is in on state, there exists a short circuit from collector to emitter. The short circuit provides output is equal to minimum or we can say it is ideally 0. So, when input is equal to 0, output is equal to 1. When input is equal to 1, output is equal to 0. This is nothing but it is acting like inverter. It is acting like inverter. That means for positive peak of the input signal, output is equal to negative peak. And similarly, for negative peak of the input signal, output is a positive peak. This is the relation between the input and output waveforms of the particular transistor as an amplifier. Okay. So, similarly, here also, when input voltage is in the positive side like this, output voltage goes to the negative. Okay. Uh, but here clipper clipping action is there this clipping action cuts the signal up to this point instead of having a curved shape here we are having a flat surface that is because of the clipping action this clipper clips the input signal exactly at uh, vce sat in the current we can say ic sat in the voltage we can say vce sat okay so in this way we can use the transistor as a clipper in the next video I will explain you about emitter coupled clipper which is most commonly used clippers in the transistor clippers. Thank you.